Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. If you're new, thanks for joining. I hope everyone's been well. Today I wanted to do a quick video on a product that I bought um, for one specific reason. So this isn't going to be a super long uh, in-depth review, but the product was the Hyperdrive 6-in-1 Hub for the iPad Pro. Um, it's specifically made for the iPad Pro. I had the similar device for my uh, MacBook Pro. And um, yeah, so the reason why I bought it was I wanted to use my iPad Pro to transfer files. So meaning if I take pictures with my camera, like my Sony, I could take the memory card out and use this adapter to get the files from my memory card to my um, external hard drive. So if I'm away from my computer, I wanted there to be another way to do it. So um, I picked it up. So I believe it was like, I think it was 60 bucks. I got it on Amazon. So I'll open it really quickly and, and just try to get right into everything. So, so here is the dongle. Obviously that goes into the bottom of the iPad, but you can see there's a little lip here and the one that is already on, um, if you connect to uh, say the port is on the right hand side, you connect it, this black kind of border just like latches on so it won't fall off. And there's a couple of more in here. If you want it to latch, I guess to the back, there are these items here. So this is exactly what's on the adapter now, only the opposite side. So you would unscrew this. You can see the two screws in there. You would unscrew it, pop it out, and then put this portion on and then screw that in. And then if you wanted to use this, I guess with a MacBook Pro or anything else, you would use this portion right here in the middle. You would screw this on and then it gives you, you know, a little bit of extension here. Plug into any other device to use this, um, like non-natively, I guess, on non-iPad Pro models. But again, I wanted to use it to get information and pictures from this memory card. Sorry, it's kind of bright in here to my external hard drive. Whoa, there we go. Normally I would just plug in my hard drive to my Mac, uh, my Mac mini and plug in the external SD card to my Mac mini and just do a transfer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the adapter, uh, into my iPad pro here, and then I'll show you on a screen share, uh, how you do it. It, it works great. So give me one second. Let's plug this in. So it turns out I don't have enough ports, so I'm gonna to have to do it as a screen share. So let me just go quickly into, let me turn the mic a little bit. All I have to do is go into the files app that, that comes with the iPad, the uh, Apple files app. And you can see right here, you'll see my iCloud drive, you'll see on my iPad, then you'll see SD card, which is my SD card, and then my four terabyte external hard drive. So on my SD card right now, I have one picture. It's just of my um, coffee station in my kitchen. So just say I had a hundred pictures or one picture or 10 pictures. All you really have to do is either right click and hit move. And then you can move it anywhere you want. So I would want to move it to my R drive. Or if you have say a hundred pictures, you just hit select select all and then on the bottom you will be able to move them all so click move and i want to move them from my sd card to my four terabyte external hard drive that's already selected and then all i have to do is hit copy and it takes a couple of seconds for one this is a raw uh file it's like 40 i think 40 megabytes so if you're transferring like 100 it's going to take a, a little bit and then if i go to my four terabyte hard drive and there's the picture right there from my SD card to my hard drive. And that is pretty much the reason why I bought it. Also, if I want to use my um, iPad Pro with an external monitor, I don't see why I would want to, but let me just take the dongle out again and show you that. The dongle has SD card, micro SD card, USB-C, a regular USB port, and oops, over here, 
the audio jack if you want to use headphones but it also has an hdmi port so you can technically plug this into your ipad and then connect it to a monitor with the hdmi port so the hyperdrive six in one usb uh hub the ipad pro like i said it was about 60 bucks on amazon and it does what i needed to do it, it works well i've tested it for about a week and it's made well it doesn't feel like it'll break and if you want extra ports on your ipad pro there are cheaper options um usually i do go for a cheaper option but i've had really good success with hyperdrive and they're not sponsored but i've had a couple of hyperdrive dongles and they all work well so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you give you a little you know background on this dongle and show you why i um purchased it to transfer files and show you pretty much how easy it is to actually do it so if you have any questions leave them down below please like subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll hopefully bring you some new uh, videos in the next couple of days or next week and i hope everyone enjoys the rest of their week peace guys